Where the hell are you guys? We were uh, unavoidably detained. Go Stuckitos, one beef, one pork. All right, just hurry up. One beef, one pork. Yeah, I got it, Sal. Oh, Tom. Yeah, that's sick. What? Hey, where did you say you are again? It's the old asylum out on. Sammy, how are we doing here, buddy? You almost done? Because there's something I really want to show you. Listen, you gotta get me out of here. Why? Because it's so exciting. No, please, come on. That guy's gonna kill me. Oh, always so much drama. Bye. Here. But that's it? See? Now, that wasn't so hard. What? <laughs> hey, tell me, Sammy. What do you know about the world of business? Where are we? Did you know, beginning in the late 19th century, corporations were granted all the rights of the individual, but none of the annoying responsibilities. They lack, almost by design, any kind of moral compass, conscience, or compassion. Basically, corporations are a way to enact sociopathic behavior on a grand scale. In short, they're what makes this country so damn great. So what, you work here? Well, actually, I was really rather hoping that you would. Huh? <laughs> I mean, what better place to instruct you in the ways of evil than here? Corporate America. So, the devil's making you work here. Yep. Mm. It sucks. I don't know what the devil's angle is, but if he's trying to torture me, it could be worse. A lot worse, man. This place is doughy -oh. Benjamin, drink is ready. Dude, there's a telephone in that bathroom. Just got a lot of stuff done in a really short amount of time. Bet you did. So you're actually gonna take this job? You did say that if I worked here, I wouldn't have to catch souls. Really? Hey, getting paid to sit around and do nothing sounds a whole lot better than almost getting killed by axe-wielding psychopaths. And I'm really good at doing nothing. That's true. Well, hello. Hi, I'm Avery. I'm your personal secretary. You should put this on. Mr. Randall's waiting for you. Who? Mr. Randall, the CEO. He's asked for you when he doesn't like to be kept waiting. Right, absolutely. Yep. Thank you, Avery. After over two years of planning and thousands of man hours of research and development, we present to you The Orchard, combining high-end luxury apartments with the best in shopping and dining. Thank you, Phil. <clears throat> I think I get the general idea. Now I'd like to hear what the new guy has. Comes highly recommended by Jerry upstairs. Me? What do you got? Um, oh, I, I didn't realize I needed to prepare for something. I have nothing. Nothing? You have nothing. Maybe that's exactly what this project needs. It is? A fresh start, a new direction, and a leader who isn't afraid to throw everything out. Start over from ground zero. Sam, I want you to take your time with this. Don't let this simmer. A couple days, we'll see what you come back with. Phil set the bar pretty low. I don't think this should be too hard. Um. Yo, Benji! Got us some burgers, buddy. 
Bench burgers. Hey, Suck. What, what, uh, what is this? It's giving Ben a trim. You like it? Doesn't look like a trim. Looks like way, way more than a little trim. Something wrong? Suck and I usually give each other haircuts. Usually? Did you say usually, Ben? Usually? Lest you forget that we have been cutting each other's hair for six years, Ben. Six long, wonderful, funky, fresh years of, of bowl cuts and cornrows and fades and high tights and many, many, many more. You name it. And then I come home to, to this. So, yeah, yeah, something's wrong. Man, you need a girlfriend. What? Suck. I don't know why I didn't think of this before. I have the perfect girl for you. Ooh, fix up. Her name is Maggie. She's a demon and she is awesome. You're gonna love her. Come on, Sock. We can double date. Think how much fun that would be. And I promise we'll dress each other beforehand. And maybe, uh, you can give me a little trim and I can clean you up later? Absolutely, buddy. All right, I'm in. <laughs> I'm in. All right. Yeah. All right. We'll fix it up later. For you, Bench Burger. Thank you. Extra pickles, buddy. Thank you. How was your first day? Good, fun. Well, it was great to have new blood on board. To be honest, we got some people here on cruise control. What a dead weight. I'm sorry. You know, I'm happy to work together on this. I don't even want the credits, so maybe if we... One second. from my dad. What did he say? Have what you need to get out of your deal. Trapped in third circle of hell. Need a way out. Send help. You see that, Sam? You just do little circles and you pat the lower back. It's like you're uh, burping out a little toot, a little fort. That's, that's very impressive. Listen, Tony, um, I need to get into hell. What? That's impossible, Sam. The living can't go down to hell. They'll be incinerated. Uh, you ever smell a man's flesh boil off his own body, right? Have you? No, I haven't, big girl. Tony, 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 focus. My dad is stuck down there. OK, is there any chance maybe you could go? <laughs> I'd love to, Sam, but I, I got a baby now. I can't just run off willy-nilly on a little jaunt to hell. Please, oh, 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 oh. please, I'm, I'm desperate. Uh, hey, Sam, even if I could find a babysitter, I'd have to find an active portal to travel to hell. I wouldn't even know where to begin to search for something like that. What, what about the DMV? No, that's for vessels only. Oh, you know what? I, I think your best bet would be to find uh, an active volcano. Yeah, they're, they're like pimples on the netherworld's ass. <laughs> oh, hey, speaking of volcanoes, <laughs> I think Mount St. Stevie had a little eruption. I have to go. Bye. Thank you, Tony. Oh, you know what, Benji? I'll admit it. I'm a little excited for this blind date. I can tell you're wearing the musk I gave you for Valentine's Day. I am. I'd offer you a little bit, but you got that great natural odor. It's very floral. It's like lilacs. Or... Ben Sock, this is my friend Maggie. Hey. <laughs> mm -hmm. No, it isn't. This is Maggie. This is your friend that I would love. It's her. <laughs> Nina, you have really outdone yourself. I'm oh, so happy with you right now. <laughs> yeah. This is going to be... Oh. <sighs> yeah. <laughs> you should have seen this one during the Roman Empire. Party girl. Uh, or, uh, what was that guy's name? Tiberius? Oh, T-Bone. Yeah. T-Bone. We called him T-Bone. He could not keep his hands off of you. Wait, <laughs> I believe I set you up with him as well. Oh, you are such a good friend. That yeah. she is. Well... I'm gonna make a quick stop down to PP Town. I'll be right back. Okay. I'll be back. Miss you already. Uh, Sock, Sock. What the hell are you doing? 
nothing. Crafting a cover story. A cover story for what, Sock? For me bailing out on that, Nina. Thank you very much for the effort. But we're going to tell her there was a bar fight that went on. I got in the middle of it, kicked everyone's ass as per usual. Had to take a trip downtown to the paddy wagon. Good? No, not good. Not good, Sock. That is my friend Maggie, and I don't want you bailing on her. That's so rude. Nina, I waited until she went to the bathroom like a gentleman. Hey. Why? Hey. Forgot uh, my purse. Oh, it's right there. Yes, it is. What's going on here? That, nothing. I got paged, so I gotta go to the hospital where I work as a surgeon. You're a surgeon? Big time. Big time. I, I gotta ask, what kind of surgery are you gonna perform? I am going to perform what is commonly known in the medical community as a face off. A face off? <sighs> like the movie. Yeah, exactly like the movie. We just found the perfect face match, so I'm gonna boogie out of here. Pleasure to make your acquaintance. Thank you again, Nina. Yep, okay. Hey, can I help you? I don't know, can you? Here. Uh, what should I do with this? I don't know, crush it? Light it on fire, just like you've done in my career. Here, let me get this started for you. No, stop, stop! It's not that big of a deal! You know what? You're right. It's nothing. 80 hours a week, poured down the drain, nothing. My dreams being disintegrated before my eyes, nothing. My wife leaving me for my dad because he pays attention to her, it's nothing. Will you excuse me for just a second? Whoa, whoa, whoa. This nothing is gonna jump out this window. No, no, I hope all 176 pounds of nothing shoots out of my ass. No, Bill, no, you're not. You're not nothing, okay? You're, you're great. How can you say that? You don't even know me. Because I know a brilliant idea when I see it, okay? And the, and the orchard, the orchard is a brilliant idea. I don't deserve to be in charge of the project. I, I suck at this job. I shouldn't even be here. You know what? You're right. Can you help me out, Sam? No. I need you to go out this window. Phil, no, 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 no. Come on. You're gonna be so great. Fall to the ground like a ticker tape or a dandelion. Phil, stop! Don't fight it. It's the law of nature. Kill or be killed. <laughs> <laughs> it's a good thing you wear cheap ties. What is that material? Paper mache? Is he dead? Well, that poor bastard just dropped 59 floors. Nah, he's probably fine. <laughs> hey, victory martini, Sammy? I think I'm gonna be sick. Oh, come on, man. You don't feel so bad. Most of this is all my fault anyway. I've been trying to drive old Philly nuts ever since we recruited him from Harvard Business School. Why? Well, that's the whole point of this place. Some companies produce microwaves. Here, we produce sin. <laughs> but there's only so much I can explain to you. Maybe I should just show you. Hmm. 75, please. Oh, I almost forgot. I believe you need one of these. Only a select few ever make it up to 75, Sammy. But everybody in this building would sell his grandma's virtue for that privilege. Allow me. Make a suit drip off a man. Sweet Louie. I'm gonna need some new blood pronto. Don't you always wear the same suit? I change three times a day, kiddo. This is my afternoon suit.
We're seeing great results from that nymphomaniac temp that we placed on Jameson's desk last week. They're committing adultery on nine as we speak. How are things looking in the mailroom? Didn't we cut their overtime? Yeah, it's got word. Courier is plotting on murdering his supervisor and his supervisor's supervisor. <laughs> Welcome to the top, Sammy. They're all demons. Demons or souls that I own. And they just mess up everything for people down below? Yeah. Pretty genius, right? Thousands of employees in this building all clawing and scratching and sending their way to the top, like Phil. And once they're up here, they belong to me. The entire purpose of this corporation is funneling souls into hell. Michael's in accounts payable, took the bait. He's cooking the books at 18! Yeah. <laughs> Hear me now? Okay. Yeah, I'm back in town. I'll I'll go over the meeting with you tonight. What the hell was that? Oh, that is a portal to the home office. That's a portal to hell? No, it's a portal to Secaucus. <laughs> I know what you're thinking. You do? You're thinking this place doesn't look like much. And you're right, it doesn't. But you will never know more power than the rush one feels when they make something happen here on the 75th floor. This portal is definitely made for humans. Well, demons to go through. So if you think you can, can you, can you stop that? We're almost finished. Okay. Nina, could you rescue my dad if I get you to that portal? <clears throat> no. No, no, sorry, I don't think so. But Tony said that demons should be fine in hell. Well, physically, yeah, but I don't wanna go. I think it's too risky. Sam really needs your help. The woman said no. I know, I know. It's just that I I don't understand why. Okay, look. I was really wild when I lived there, okay? And I don't want to slip back into some old negative habits that I've left behind, like maiming and torturing and impaling. Oh, my God, you guys, it's like spring break <laughs> if you're a demon. <laughs> but you're different now, right? Absolutely, in theory. The thing is... I've done a lot of personal development and detoxing in order to stop craving the sounds of people in agony. She's more of a Stevie Wonder fan now. Okay, we are asking you for your help. As, as friends, if you agreed to do this, I mean, that's pretty solid proof that you've changed. Come on, I mean, I think you're gonna be just fine. I wouldn't ask if there was any other way. Come on, Nina, please. I think I can hold it together for one day. Just for one day. Great. Thank Great. you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Don't worry, baby. I'm gonna come back to you. Oh, just be careful. It is hell. Okay, how are you gonna get out of the portal? Well, you need a key card to get to the 75th floor, but they only give those to executives. But I figure if I can impress the CEO with this presentation I'm supposed to give, he might promote me. Have you ever been promoted? No. Hi, Sock. Yep. Um, just looking for Nina. Oh, yeah, I haven't seen her today, so sorry. It was really great to meet you yesterday. You walked out on me. That was great, too. Can we just uh, be honest for a second here? All right. You don't find me attractive. No, not really. You know, but if it's any consolation, I think it has more to do with your choice of shirts. All right, fair enough. Yeah, a little frumpy. Okay. Uh, did Nina happen to mention that I can look like whatever I want? What? I'm a demon, man. <laughs> this whole parents this is just a construct of my making. I, I thought you knew that. I could look like Angelina Jolie if I wanted to. <gasps> and you chose to look like that. Yeah. Smart. Yeah, low maintenance, no fuss, don't have to floss. Right. Right. Anyway, see you later. Yeah, hey, uh, Maggie, hold on. Whoa. So what, what, how would this work? I mean, when I give you a picture, 
Have like my dream girl and you'd snap your fingers, turn into her? Well, it's more complicated than that, that... but yes. Wow, that is big news for me. Uh -huh. This is major. All right, let, why don't we give us another shot with a, with a different looking you? Yeah, sure. Hey. Sure, yeah. Uh, what, what do you want me to look like? What do I, what do I want you to look like? That is a, that's a really big question. Hang on, let me, let me take a look at you. Mm -hmm. mm, and it's not something one wants to make a snap decision about, you know what I mean? It's uh, gonna require some research, planning, a little meditation. I'm gonna need like three months. I'll give you a day. Let's do this. All right. Good job. Yeah. Oh. You may recall my self-sucking straw invention, the straw automatic. Well, my genius ideas don't stop at beverage implements. I dabble in architectural design, and I'm gonna get you promoted, Sammy. All right, what do you got? All right, now my first idea combines a hotel and a retail mall all underwater. I give you Bentopia. Why is it underwater? Uh, 360 degree ocean views, man. <laughs> Right, okay. Well, do you have anything that isn't underwater? Um, I'm sorry, I, I think they all are. Oh, I have nothing, man. This pitch is in 10 minutes. What? If the underwater thing's bumping you, Sam, let, let me remind you that we're all underneath water already. Man. Clouds, Sam, they're made of water. Man, man, I'm screwed, man. I'm never gonna get to the 75th floor. My dad's gonna be stuck in hell for all of eternity. <laughs> There's that. Residents will live it up in five-star hotel-style accommodations, and they'll totally be pampered by, like, um, uh, uh, a service office that they can... A concierge service. Sure, yeah, you could call it that. The, the, the end. What do you think? I think that's Phil's model. No. Yes, but I made changes to it. Uh, very, very substantial changes, like how I... Uh, crushed this part a little? You stole Phil's model. That much is clear. Okay, listen, I can explain. Which makes me suspect that you murdered him as well. You saw his project, you wanted it for yourself. So you lured the man into your office and you tossed him out a 59th story window. Mr. Randall, no. I'm impressed. Miss, I wouldn't Wait, what? I have seen some ruthless stunts in my day. Not many capital offenses, though. Even the best business schools don't breed that kind of bloodlust. Thank you. Sam Oliver, you are the total package. Guts. Determination, sociopathic tendencies. Welcome to the executive ranks, my friend. See you on the 75th floor. Can you tell me where the fans are? The fans, yeah, they are right over there on the bottom shelf. Just right there. Oh, uh, I don't see. Did you just take a picture of my butt? No, 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 just your lower back. Don't flatter yourself. I'm almost done. Soon I will have created the perfect woman. She looks like Frankenstein. Don't, don't do me like that, Ben. Come on. Well, I'm just saying it's unnatural. It is not. Well, there are regular women right here in this bar who are beautiful. Really? Yeah. OK, show me one. Oh. Oh, my god. She's not bad. Not at all. Oh. oh. <clears throat> Get to it, buddy. <clears throat> Hey, I'm sorry if I was staring. I just uh, got distracted by your hair. It's got a really gorgeous shimmer to it. Thank you. And those cheekbones are just perfection. Wow, I don't usually succumb to flattery, but uh, you're pretty cute. Oh my God, I am just struck by your beauty. Look at you. Oh, oh. Can I ask you a favor? Anything. Can I touch your face? Okay. Team player, I like it. Seven, seven, five and a half, that's pretty normal. 
Good. Now, oh, have your eyes always been this far apart? Is it? You need to stop now. I just need to. Okay. p.m. because I don't want to be down there any longer than I have to. We'll be here. All right. Are you ready? Oh, can you give us a second? Hurry home, baby. I'm going to miss you. Babe, I'm going to miss you so much. As soon as you get back, I'm going to draw you a nice bath and I'm going to give you a long-ass foot massage. <laughs> you will. That yes. sounds amazing. Maybe you could get in the bath with me. Oh, honey, I would, but it's a one-person tub and I don't want to cramp you in there. I wouldn't mind. I know, but then there's the issue of dirty bath water. And if we're both in there, then we're only semi-clean and nobody wants that, okay? Yeah, you're right. Oh, maybe we could take a shower together. That eliminates the dirty water scenario. Yeah, that's a great idea, shower. <laughs> well, there's just one caveat, baby. I I don't like to stand when I'm naked. You sit in the shower, babe? Well, I, I sit or squat, yeah. Okay. Then when I get back, we'll squat in the shower together. Okay. What, you never say goodbye to your girlfriend before? I love you. I love you more. Mm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Time to go to hell. All right. Thank you so much, Nina. You're welcome. Friends help friends, right? Nina, wait. Took a shower beforehand, then maybe I could get in the tub with you. Okay, now, what I'm about to show you is the culmination of a lot of hard work on my part. I'm really excited. Please, don't, don't, please. Now, the knock on me has kind of always been that I'm the type of guy that never finishes anything, okay? Mm. Like, when I was five years old, I decided to build a birdhouse, never finished. Mm. When I was 12, I decided to learn Spanish. Six months later, I bid adieu to that dream. I think you mean adios. Shh, do not interrupt. Okay, now, today, not only did I finish something, I nailed something. I present to you, my lady, my dream woman. Careful with her. See, I drew on a variety of sources, the petite small nose, so characteristic of the women. The tone, Jennifer Garner, Horn Aniston, if you will, and the Monster Boobs, of the ladies of Monster Boobs, the movie. She's beautiful. Yeah, I know. So you think you can shush your way into that for me? I can do it. I'd be honored. Hot dog. I can do it. Mm. What do you say, tonight? 11.30? Thank you. Thank you so much. Don't screw this up. Look at you. Moving on up. What? You got to the 75th floor, kiddo. Faster than anybody I've ever seen. You're really proving yourself, Sammy. I couldn't be more proud. Thank you. What are you wearing? Yeah, what do you think, huh? My new tailor says that ascots are retro hip. Yeah, no. Uh huh. It's a lot of look, isn't it? Oh. Not me. Damn. I need to get my old tailor back. I thought he was dead. Semantics. Don't worry about it. Mr. Oliver, Mr. Randall would like to see you in the... 
Don't ask me. What the heck did you do? Mr. Oliver, are you aware that we have surveillance cameras throughout this building? Mr. Randall, I can explain. She was a friend of mine, and she just wanted to go home for a visit. Do you see the problem here, Mr. Oliver? The problem? You didn't kill Phil. I'm sorry? You... What kind of cone are you pulling here, mister? I'm, I'm not Connie, I just... Wait, you're mad because I didn't kill Phil? Really? No, Sam, I'm mad because you let me think that you killed somebody. You weren't man enough to pull the trigger on Phil or on the project. No, I, I can pull the trigger, I can, I swear. In my experience, you either got it or you don't. And you don't. You're fired, effective immediately. No, please, Mr. Randall, I, I can do better. Go clear out your desk and leave right now. Hand over your key card. Okay, Mr. Randall's secretary told me he would be here any minute. Let's, uh, let's get the key card out of his locker while he's in the gym. Yeah, you know what, if you two got that covered, I think I'm gonna rip a little boxer sizing while we're here. We have to meet Nina at the portal in two hours, and you're seriously thinking about taking a boxer sizing class? I'm getting a little fat these wait, days. Wait, 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 that's Mr. Randall. What? He's going in. Oh, okay. Why does he have a shirt off if I'm going to steam room? Uh, we're undercover. I'm trying to be inconspicuous. OK, fair enough. Right, go, card. Oh, hello. Afternoon, Chumley. That's a mark of doom. Down 200 points. Oh, that's rough. Boy, boy, tell you about it. You know, I have an uncle who works on uh, Wall Street. Yeah. He used to have a corner on the market. Now he's got a market on the corner. <laughs> Allow me, Samuel. All right, we use my system. We'll have this thing cracked open in no time. You have a system? It's a lot you don't know about me, Sammy. Please turn it down to zero, zero, zero. Locked. Zero, zero, one. Wanting me to stand here and try every number until we find and trust the system, Sam. Trust it. Zero zero four. I think it's gonna be the one. Well, I think I better hit the showers. Get back to the office. No, 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 no. You don't want to do that. That would be a huge mistake. Really? Mm. Why? Uh, because you would be walking out on the business venture of a lifetime. Some other time. No, 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 because there may not be any other opportunity for thousands of miles of lakefront property for pennies. Okay. I'm listening. Zero, zero, nine. Ben, this is idiotic. We can't just stand here and try every single number. What are you guys doing? Uh, we, we were just, um... We, we, the, our combination isn't working. Do you think you could give us a hand? Yeah, no problem. Get the master key right here. Master key. Thank nice. you. Nice. Oh, oh, yeah. <laughs> Open sesame. Thank you very right. much. All right, guys. Take it easy, Ben. Yep. And then the explosive charges go off. 
completely flooding the Grand Canyon, filling it up with water, and bam, all that worthless property turned into prime time real estate. You want to flood the Grand Canyon? Absolutely. It's a national park. Well, so now it's a national pool. Sir. Yeah. Already. Benjamin, yes, thank you. Okay, that's my secretary. Good, we'll get those papers all signed up and sent over your way. All right, buddy, enjoy your sweat. All right, Ben and I are gonna go up to the 75th floor and grab me and you guys stay here on the lookout, all right? Oh my God, Andy, has anyone ever told you you have exquisite fingernails? Okay, Sam. Please be careful, okay? We'll give you a call if we hear anything. Yeah, look at that. Seriously, what is your secret? Come here. Oh, my what lord. Do you reflexology? Yeah. Bear up in these bad oh, boys? Would you look. stop it? What is Just your problem? Just let me look at the... Oh, go, 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 go. You are golden, I repeat, you are golden. Okay. my dad um he had to stay behind he had something important to do but he told me to give this to you uh it's blank what what is it what well, that doesn't make sense this this had writing on it when he gave it to me Listen, you've flown with Ben before. You think you carried the both of us? I don't know. I could try. Well, you're gonna have to. Come on, go, 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 go. You didn't change. You didn't turn into my dream woman. Yeah, I never was going to do that. What? You, you said that... I lied. You know, so sue me. But uh, someone had to teach you a lesson, and judging by the look on your face right now, message received. Wowee. I honestly had no idea that you were this cruel. Cruel? Are you kidding me? You're a pig. Who's not being a pig? You're being sadistic. What? Yeah, I tried to be honest with you, right? I tried to tell you that I simply wasn't attracted to you, but that, that wasn't good enough for you, right? Now, you had to concoct some cockamamie plan to come here and punish me. All right, all right. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. I don't know, maybe I was projecting my insecurities onto you. Uh, yeah, I get that. No. You know, it may not look like it from where you're standing, but I am definitely riddled with my share of insecurities. You know, you're not the only one that gets judged for the way they look. I didn't realize that. Well. Hey. Uh-oh. I have an idea to help us get out of this situation. 
I'm listening. <clears throat> okay, now what if, and this is just off the top of my head, what if you go ahead and turn into my dream woman, and then I will feel better about myself for having dated her, and you won't have any insecurities left because I will be all over her, AKA the better looking version of you. You, you are an idiot. Ah, uh, that, listen, can I have my collage back? You know, I tried everything. I got it wet, I put lemon juice on it. If there's anything written on this paper, I can't find it. Well, did Sam's dad say anything else? All he said was that this was the way to get the devil into competition with Sam. I'm so happy you're home, even though you smell like egg salad still. <laughs> Don't need a childhood memories, right? <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm so stupid. Here, give me that. Oh, what are you wait, doing? Wait, just watch it. See? Oh my god, look at that. What does it mean? I don't know. It's an ancient demon text. It's way before my time. We get this translated. Sam gets out of his deal with the devil. <laughs> All right. All right. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you.